this is Miss Taylor from the Marathon County Public Library and I am here today to read you books all about rainbows. So rainbows are wonderful surprises that we see every once in a while. They are rare and special and can mean so many different things. In science, rainbows are a product of rain droplets hitting the sunlight just right. In the spring, we might see rainbows popping up in the form of flowers. You can see red flowers, orange flowers, yellow flowers, colors everywhere. Rainbows can also be seen as a sign of joy and hope. What do you think of when you see a rainbow? So we are going to start with our very first book for the day. It is called The Hidden Rainbow by Christy Matheson. One little bee peeks out to see a world of gray and snow. She's looking for bright colors and she needs you to help them grow. All right, we need your help. First, please brush the snow off the budding camellia trees. Brush, brush, brush. Look, the flowers are red and their nectar feeds two bees. Tickle the very tops of the growing tulip leaves. Very soon, the bees will find orange. And can you see three bees? One, two, three. Next, point to the crocus shoots just beginning to sprout. So down here we have shoots. Let's see what color we get. We get yellow. Four bees are eating pollen now that yellow has come out. Now it's time to search for a special four-leaf clover. Let's see if we can find it. What luck! A field of green with five bees zooming over. Please wave the bees back to their hive. Shoo, shoo, shoo. It's time for a shower. The bees don't like the rain, but it's important for the flowers. What do you see in the sky? It's a rainbow. Blow the forget-me-not buds dry. Ready? As the rain clears from the sky. Nice and dry. The sun is shining, blue is blooming, and six bees are buzzing by. Next, trace a line straight down the orderly hyacinth row. Ready? Straight line. Let's see what happens. Seven bees are foraging in blooms of indigo. You're practically done. Now blow a kiss to the lovely lilac trees. Ready? The violet blossoms are brimming with nectar for eight bees. At last, get ready to find nine bees on the rainbow you grew. Look at that rainbow. Let's name our colors. We have red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. But the story is not over. These bees have work to do. Can you see 10 hummingbees getting busy in the trees? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. They're spreading so much pollen, you might just have to achoo! And why are the bees spreading pollen? So something you eat can grow. Thanks to the bees, soon you'll have your own delicious rainbow. So look, it's a rainbow of fruit. We have apples, peaches, pears, plums, blackberries, blueberries, colors everywhere. So that was our first book called The Hidden Rainbow by Christy Matheson. Now we're gonna head down to our aquarium to learn about a colorful fish. Hey, I'm Dan. And I'm here in front of the Phyllis Donner Aquarium here at the Marathon County Public Library's WASA headquarters. You know, rainbows are made up of so many colors, and one of those colors is yellow. That's my personal favorite, and so today, we're going to learn about one of the creatures here in the aquarium, the yellow tang. So, let's dive in and take a look. 
Yellow tangs are fish that many people like to put in saltwater aquariums because of their beautiful, vibrant color. They're part of a family of fish called surgeon fish because they have a pair of sharp spines toward the back of their body that they use to defend themselves. In the wild, yellow tangs traditionally live in the North Pacific Ocean, most commonly in the waters between Hawaii and Japan. There, they survive by eating algae and other plant material, which is where their long, snout-like mouth comes in handy. Yellow tangs prefer shallow reefs where algae is plentiful and they have many crevices to hide in when they feel threatened. At night, their yellow color fades a bit and looks dull, while in the daylight, the yellow color brightens and appears vibrant. Yellow tangs can grow up to 8 inches in size and can live up to 30 years. In our aquarium, they're very energetic and like to swim around and explore. Thanks for joining me today. Now let's take it back to Taylor for another story. So in our next book, we're going to learn all about the science behind rainbows and see how they work in our natural world. So this book is called Rainbow by Marion Dane Bauer. Have you ever seen a surprise in the sky on a rainy day? This is what can happen. First, a few raindrops fall. Plink, plop, plunk. Then more follow. rat a tat tat Millions of raindrops fill the air. But then, while the rain is still falling, the sun peeks out from behind a cloud. It shines through all that rain. And then, surprise! A rainbow arcs across the sky. So for a rainbow, we need rain and sun. Those two things can make a beautiful rainbow. Okay, let's name our colors in the rainbow, ready? There's red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. How did that rainbow come to be? This is how. White sunlight passing through millions of raindrops bounces and bends. The light separates into different colors. When you are very lucky, the sunlight bounces twice. Then you see two rainbows or a double rainbow. Sometimes a rainbow is upside down. This is called a sun smile. Have you ever seen a sun smile? I don't think I ever have, but I'm gonna be on the lookout now. If the angle of the sun is just right, you can even see a rainbow in a fountain or a waterfall. They don't have to be just in the sky. Have you heard the story of a pot of gold at the end of every rainbow? It's a nice story. But it's not true. A rainbow does not end. A rainbow is really a full circle. We cannot see the circle from the ground because the earth gets in the way. This is something I didn't know. If you move, the rainbow will move too. No two people see the same rainbow. What you see depends on where you are standing. So next time the sun comes out while it is still raining, look up in the sky and enjoy your very own rainbow. And if you stand with your back to the sun, the rainbow will light up the sky. Your rainbow. And then back here, we have some fun facts about rainbows. I love fun facts. So our first fun fact, if you are facing the sun, you cannot see a rainbow. To see one, your back must be to the sun. And you cannot see all the colors of a rainbow. A rainbow is actually made up of more than a million colors. Our human eyes cannot see many of those colors. And finally, rainbows are usually seen in the morning or evening when the sun is rising or setting. Sunlight needs to strike the raindrops at an angle of 42 degrees to create a rainbow. So you need that very specific angle to make a rainbow. So that is our second book called Rainbow. So that's the science of, about how rainbows work. If you want more information, you can always check out more books from the library. 
So now we're going to head on over and read our third book. Remember at the beginning I said rainbows can be a sign of hope or joy? Well, I don't know if you remember early, about a year ago last spring, we saw a lot of rainbows in windows or hearts in windows. It's been kind of a strange year where we had to stay inside a lot, but these symbols gave people hope. So we're going to read a book called Share Your Rainbow, and it's by 18 different artists, and it's their drawings of their hope for the future. But first, we're going to have an intro. I really like this intro because it explains about how rainbows are a sign of joy and hope. And it's by R.J. Palacio. She wrote the book Wonder. In Greek mythology, the rainbow was personified as a young goddess named Iris. She was usually depicted as having wings, and because she was swift as the wind, she was also a messenger of the gods. She was a literal bridge between the heavens and the earth, traveling from one world to the other, leaving in her wake a vapor trail of colors that arched across the sky. That rainbow of colors was a symbol of hope, even back then at the very dawn of civilization. It remains one for people now all over the world. Human beings have always recognized in rainbows a kind of magic. A rainbow is just so beautiful, so fleeting, that to see one is to feel like you actually caught a glimpse of true wonder, like a wink from the universe. Whether it's a rainbow in the sky, or in the glimmer of a puddle, or in the, in the drawings by children being put in windows and drawn on sidewalks, in uncertain times, rainbows are messages of love and hope and peace. Okay, so now we're gonna see these children's authors, their hopes for the future. And I want you to be on the lookout for rainbows in every picture. So, there's our first rainbow. I cannot wait to yak with my neighbors and laugh with my neighbors and snarf up toasted marshmallows with my neighbors. I look forward to some sleepy Saturday when every boring thing feels extraordinary. Okay, I gotta go buy paper clips. Can I come too? And look, there's our rainbow. New places await where I'll be welcomed by smiling faces and share food with friends. There's our rainbow down there in a bowl. Stuck inside, I was forced to put my moon mission on hold. At least I had time to rethink my rocket's paint job. Look at that cool rocket full of rainbows. I can't wait to ride a rainbow. Roller coaster! And there's our rainbow. I hope I can go to the park with my best friend and pet all the dogs. I see a rainbow. Do you? And enjoy ice cream at the beach with friends. Mmm, a rainbow of ice cream. My rainbow is playing ball with everyone. Mine is sitting next to strangers on the bus. Mine is the sweet treat of a happy birthday. We will go swimming and play in the water. and hit up the roller rink with my friends to skate the night away. My rainbow shows crowded laps, loud dinners, and cozy cousin bedtimes. I'm looking forward to being kinder to our earth and to seeing the world through a new lens, imagining a universe of possibilities. We will hold hands as we walk and talk and listen and be together. Soon, with sun, my garden will have a rainbow growing, a rainbow to harvest and a rainbow to share with family and friends. My rainbow is a warm hug. 
what is your rainbow? So what's something that gives you joy or hope or something you're looking forward to in the future? That was share your rainbow. Okay, so that was our last book for the day. So now we are gonna head over to Rose who is gonna show us our craft of the month, which is a rainbow. the grab-and-go kit for the month of March. And what's that? Why, well, it is our 3D Rainbow Mobile Kit. And you can pick it up here at the Wassa location or any of the other branches. Once you pick up your kit, you're going to have all of these materials to create your rainbow. And what's really fun about this rainbow is that it turns into a hanging one that you can hang in your bedroom or your window or on any archway. Also, what's really fun is that you'll learn to do some knotting with some string and also some kneading. Okay, so let's talk about some of the supplies you might need at home. You'll want to grab a pair of scissors, your pencil, a ruler, glue, or double-sided tape. So, once you've unpacked all of your supplies, you can begin to follow the directions lined out um, in the center fold. But the key tip to getting this perfect arch natural shape is easy. All you have to do is take one of your color strips, a handy bottle that you might have at home, and you just wrap your strip around to give it a natural curl. So you wrap it tightly around and hold it there for a couple of seconds, and then when you take it off, you will eventually have a natural curl that will let you create your rainbow. Well, I hope you have a lot of fun creating your rainbow and learn about all the colors and learn about how you can make a rainbow at home. Back to Taylor. All right. Thank you all for joining us today. I hope you enjoyed the books and you're going to get supplies to make your own rainbow. Here's mine. Isn't it beautiful? All right. Well, we will see you again soon for another story time at Marathon County Public Library. Thank you for attending today and we will see you soon.